Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sakuga Builds cast. It's a much cleaner intro this week than last week, and we are excited to talk today about something a little different. I am Daniel, Daniel Lewa, Daniel Lewa Builds on TikTok, and this is my co-host Methuselah, and we're pumped and ready as always. We've got our minifigs of the week. I'll start. This is probably the most boring pick I have ever done on the show. This wow, is... Kai. Kai in his uh, Ninjago core outfit. It's the only minifig I've seen all week. Um, I just started building this, which wow. is actually really dope. And it's a combo mech, and this is the only minifig I've built so far. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I've never been a big Kai guy. I'm more of a Nia fan, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, my Let's turn. Go. I got the cooler Kai. The Imperial Guard, my uh -huh. first one ever. <laughs> Imperial Guard. I always see these in Lego Star Wars as a child, and now I actually have one, thanks to Darth Vader's castle. Anyways, uh, apologi apologies if Daniel's audio sounds bad. He has been traveling to Washington, D.C., so he's currently in an undisclosed location right now. And I kind of took over the podcast for this week and did all the uh research so it'll be a little bit shorter but i will basically be doing this presentation to daniel and see his reaction now if there's one thing you I know have, go ahead i have not so i have not seen any of these before so i'm very curious to see which tools man has picked for which theme. so if there's anything you know about me is that i like legos and i like shoes okay these are two things i really like so how can i combine these matching the lego theme with the shoe it's a brand new idea we're the only ones who have done it and we're gonna go see <laughs> ahead and see if daniel will agree with my picks here i did the top 10 no i just chose themes at random kind of and some are easy to do like i'm pretty sure there's a uh, adidas ninjago shoe yeah there is and so i i kind of went for not the way obvious ones some of them are pretty obvious but one other disclaimer it is all nike and jordan i didn't do anything else besides nike and jordan okay because they're the best shoes in my opinion so let's go ahead and present this to daniel lewa this is lego shoe let's go ahead to the first one now, this kind of is a no-brainer. When I first saw this shoe release, uh, released last year, it's the Jordan High OG Light Fusion Red. It was so obviously Monkey Kid when I saw it because of the yellow and red. Now, you could tell the red is a little bit lighter on the shoe, but it's so obviously McDonald's Monkey Kid ketchup and mustard. Can you not see that? I love this. I want these shoes now. <laughs> Literally, if... All I would do, I would get these shoes, I would put teal laces on, and it would be exactly like, exactly well, like If you pull up in those, I'm about to roast you, bro. Because what outfit are these going to go with? You going to wear all black or all mustard all ketchup? All white. White. I wear all white. Oh, you're the monkey kid. Be... If you pull up in these, you're the monkey kid menace, bro. But these <laughs> are pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Um... But they're bright, just like the Monkey Kid theme is. So. Let's go oh, on. Perfect. I'll That's do the second great one. Start. Great start. This one is kind of obvious. So I chose Mindstorms, and I chose the Adapt BB 2.0. Now, these shoes actually are electronic auto lacing. So they have electronics in them, just as Lego. It's the only Lego theme with electronics in it as well. Um as well as the color scheme went along as well. So I thought it would be fitting for Mindstorms. Amazing. Yes, I love how you incorporated the technological aspect. Uh, I wouldn't wear these. Uh, as cool as it would be to have self-lacing. Mm. It would go with more stuff. It's just kind of busy with all the pattern. You wouldn't wear these, but you would wear the Monkey Kid ones. Yeah, okay. Now we know where my taste is. Yeah, that's terrible. Oh. So not not my not I don't think like the coolest pick I did, but I thought it would, might be kind of fitting um for Mindstorms. 
we'll go ahead and move on to theme number three. Now this one is pretty obvious. This one's a like a pretty giveaway obvious one because the Jordan one origin story is, is kind of like based off of Miles Morales. Um, you see like the little dots all over the, the bottom of it to make it look like that a comic book effect in a way. So it's pretty much a shoe win, no pun intended. But for Lego Marvel superheroes, I just had to do it because it's so cool. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and it's it's similar enough to like the Jordans that Shang Chi wears, and Shang Chi. It's not the exact same ones, but like similar enough where it's like, okay, we've seen uh, what was Peter Parker wearing in the new Spider Man? Were they Jordans? Uh, they yeah, Peter Jordan. Parker was wearing. Uh, I looked like to me like the shadow two, the shadows of the shadow two point to me. So even the, because into the Spider Verse he was wearing some uh, Jordans just like these. How Miles Morales was, but even in the new Spider Man, he was wearing some J's too, so I thought it was fitting. It doesn't really represent Marvel superheroes as a whole, even though it is that nice red color, which is kind of like the Marvel uh, logo. Um, but it is good representation of Spider Man, anyways. We'll go on to number four for Power Miners. This is one of Daniel and I's favorite themes, uh, when we were children. Mm -hmm. I had to, I I found two different ones. The first one, the SB Dunk Low Green Spark Hoop Orange is mainly based on the color scheme because it has the orange and the green and the yellow as well, like the box art, um, also the black. So all the colors really fit, but based on like structure of power miners, I chose the NDSTRK, I don't know if it's in the skirt, the Air Max 95 Neon, which also has the green color, but also is, like a little more like how do you say mechanical looking i love how you separated the two aspects of the aesthetic yeah like kind of the, the colorful aspect and the mechanical aspect because um yeah i would say on their own not either one of these doesn't totally capture all power miners but each of them captures that part so together yeah they, they do a good job of that good choices yeah, thank, you, thank you Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Power Mario is a very good at theme. I had to choose it for this presentation. Um, yeah, we'll go on to number five. Lego Friends. I chose this basic Air Force One, not because if you have friends, you're basic, but I feel like the characters in Friends are some basic white girls that would wear these basic Air Force Ones. Oh so <laughs> I don't I don't know the exact uh, the color model of this one. That does have little hearts on the a little air, the whatever they're called. Uh, has little hearts, which is cute because Friends is all hearts and cutesy. Um, I just chose these basic Air Force Ones because look at if you look at these these mini dolls. You already know that they're, they're going to be wearing some, like, just Air Force One, just something basic, whatever's trending, basically. Um, interesting. That's a, a interesting approach that you didn't choose necessarily the ones that look like the sets from the theme, but you chose the ones that the characters from that theme would wear. So, yeah, got to give you that one. For sure. I took a little different approach on that, but... I don't know. I just didn't want to do, uh, you know, I had to mix up the themes, keep it diverse. Anyways, we're already yeah. on to number, we're already on to number six at this rate. This one is pretty much a shoe win. Okay. Because it's obviously for obvious reasons, it's the Mars landing texture on the shoe and Mars mission is on Mars. So it's a shoe win, but the Air Max 90 also might be a good representation just because it's retro. Mars Mission's kind of like retro sci-fi in a way with the alien tubes and everything. But I I don't know. What's your thoughts on this one? I mean, it's a natural fit. It feels, these shoes feel very Doom Eternal to me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just looking at it, I'm like immediately Doom is, yeah. is what I think of. But I can definitely see them as, as Mars. Well, that's on Mars too, right? So... Yeah, Mars mission is Mars, and yeah, Doom is on Mars too. So, well, at least the majority of it. So, pretty pretty simple, not too complex. On these ones, um, well, six or seven, I don't know. Lego Adventures. This is a throwback. Now, this is also something the character might wear. This is a Nike S 
FB eight inch boot. These are some big boots on you. And it's interesting always seeing the Nike boots because I don't know, you just never really see anybody wear them. Um, but you could just imagine adventuring in this. And I don't know too much a lot about Lego adventurers, but I did want to include a, a throwback as well. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know Nike made shoes like that either, but you can see Johnny Thunder wearing something like that. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Anyways, I think we're out to the top two. This one was just a shoe in for Exo Force. When these were announced last year, the RX O Unicorn Gundam shoes. And Exo Force is like a mm, Gundam based theme, if you will. Uh, so not only that, but the colors actually match pretty well with the red and white one fitting like that bottom right set the blue gold yeah. fitting like uh, that top right villain set so this is just pretty obvious to, to do this one for exo force these are some of the coolest shoes i've ever seen at nike make i don't uh, i really wish they were more accessible they're so hard to get yeah uh, of course good. yeah they are really cool. I'm not sure they look great on your foot because they're so crazy and busy, but they look so cool to look at by themselves. Um, yeah, big Art. fan. I think we're on the last one now. No, oh second boy. to last, second to last. Dots, I had to go with the Air Max 90 polka dot because obviously it has oh. dots on it. And that's about it. <laughs> Are there any more colorful options? Because I feel like that's something mm, yeah. distinctive about that. But yeah, I love the sure. polka dots everywhere. Like on the front. Wow. Oh, for sure. I don't know Good if there are any other polka dot color options for these, but another pretty you know now that I'm, now that i'm thinking about it i thought my picks were more like complex and deep reasons but now that i'm thinking about it it's just like obvious reasons why i chose them so the last one is here so for ninjago i chose the adidas rapid days and x lego shoes so <laughs> the reason i chose these is because not only are they super colorful but ninjago is also for babies and these are baby shoes so you got all the colors green red blue black yellow uh to represent all the ninjas and they also like fits the age range of the people that actually are like like ninjago <laughs> as you can see these just match but yeah, that's my last pick for the, the Lego shoe. So, I thought you said these are all going to be Nike. That's the first problem. Second problem is this is the dopest. Look, this is the dopest thing. And it's like the new Exo Force, right? Look, like looking at this, you're going to tell me that this is worse than the Exo Force? Why did you pick the worst possible shoe? <laughs> This is not better. Okay. This is the this, this is Exo Force. This is actually fire. What is this? You gave Exo Force the dopest shoe possible, and you gave Ninjago the worst, ugliest shoe possible. Tell me There's these. Some bio. Tell me these don't match. <laughs> what is it, like the four plus? Maybe we're looking at like Jay's Lightning Dragon or four plus. Oh my god! I can't believe this. This is just a, this is an outrage. This is just the drama has begun. Anyway, I would wear any of these shoes, even the polka dot ones. I've never touched these. I, really I don't know. know that like based on my research, like this is you. This is what like Ninjago fans research? would wear. <laughs> Did you do a survey? Did you do some sort of poll? Like what kind of research are you conducting? Look up Lego Ninjago shoe. This is what comes up. Like I don't know what to tell you. That's just the facts. Um, like I'm not trying to shame anybody, but I'm just I'm just trying to like get the best representation for said theme, if that makes sense. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. Might as well be getting the original Bionicle Nikes from 2002. <laughs> oh, those weren't hard. Anyways, that was the Lego shoe matching the Lego theme with the shoe. And that's what I picked. And I feel like I could probably do another one of these. So if you liked it, drop 
a giant thumbs up on this video and smash that like button and get down in there in the comment section and make it lit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Matt, for all of your extensive research and putting this together. Wow. And I would love to see more themes. Like, there are a lot of other ones that would be very interesting, like Chima, Nexo Knight. Like, what would you do for that? I have no idea. Yeah, if there's a demand for another video like this, I would definitely do it because I feel like I really did a good job of, you know, representing these LEGO teams. Um, uh, yeah, like 90% were really good. Yeah. Well, hopefully Danny will be back in, uh, and uh, he'll be in his new home by next time and we will continue this. But I uh, hope everybody enjoyed and as always, keep on building in the free world. Amen. See you next week. <laughs> what is going on?